Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. Today's video is brought to you by Kiowith Digital Multimeter. This thing is bad to the bone. Super rugged, even comes with a flashlight. Highly recommend it. You can pick up yours at Amazon.com. Check out Kiowith's Digital Multimeter and thank you for sponsoring this video. Let's get to it. Let's go ahead and get to it. Today we're going to talk about the difference between a main lug and a main breaker panel. So let's go ahead and look at the main lug first. All right, so a main lug panel is just like it sounds. It has no breaker installed. It's literally just going to have the lugs up at the top that you terminate the main wires to. These are great for feeder panels, anywhere that's past the first point of disconnect. And we're going to talk about the main breaker panel now. Now you could take and back feed this panel and put a main breaker on it. And there's codes uh, you know, surrounding that. But as far as this having a main breaker in itself it does not but this panel here is called a main breaker panel so the first one was main lug and this one is called main breaker and this is going to be the typical one that you see inside your home i'm a big fan of having a breaker on every single panel although it's not a code requirement in itself to have for the panel to have it you can legally have main lug panels but every time you're at the first point of disconnect for that service you're going to have to be required to have a breaker and if your panel is the first point of disconnect in that service like I've taught you about on this channel previously then you're going to be required to have to have a main breaker and this is going to be a main breaker panel and it does exactly what it sounds like it has a main breaker installed so when you flick that main breaker everything beneath there inside that bus bar is going to be de-energized with the first panel that we have up here on the left or the left or right I don't know what side it's on it may be recorded backwards but the first panel that you have on the left side of your screen here it has no main overcurrent device so there is is no way to shut this panel off at that location now this is going to be fed from somewhere else so this panel the first one that we saw here is going to be fed from somewhere else that does have a breaker but you don't have a breaker at that location so if you went to work inside this panel and did not know that you might not know that you can't shut this panel off until you took the cover off so it's just one of those things that if you're you know don't feel comfortable or don't feel good about something always stop pick up the phone call and ask you can email the coach anything i can do to help you in life or business you can email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com let's get to it 